track remains somewhat uncertain. Many here at home are watching the storm, and that includes volunteers ready to support those in need. Anthony Wilson joins us live with that story. Anthony. Well, John, we are enjoying some gorgeous weather right now, but conditions could deteriorate dramatically near the end of the week. And that is why Duke Energy and the Red Cross are working to make sure you stay safe. Florida's state of emergency has people there preparing for a possible hit by Hurricane Ian. Duke Energy authorities tell us their crews are preparing too. The storm could impact our Florida service area, but as it comes inland, it could also come to the Carolinas. And so that's something we're watching very closely. We're not going to release crews from the Carolinas to Florida to assist until we're absolutely sure it's not going to impact our home territories. Meantime, Red Cross crews here in central North Carolina are ready for action as well. We're only going to send a, a certain number of volunteers forward on the first level from the viewing area because we are concerned that we may have to do some mass care relief efforts, sheltering, uh, loss of power, things of that nature that might happen in our area. The Sand Hills Region Red Cross Executive Director is preparing to deploy to Florida on Tuesday and before Ian's effects arrive near you. Right now is a good chance to revisit your storm prepared plan make sure that that you do know what you would do if a storm came here and you lost power especially if you rely on electricity for medical needs you know we can't prioritize medical customers during a major hurricane because of the scale of damage and so we always encourage people to have a plan in place for where you might relocate so while they are poised to help the people in Florida when the hurricane hits there they also want to make sure that they have enough people here in our area in case we get bad weather as well. We'll keep an eye on the conditions and keep you updated throughout the week. John and Anna.